rainy day. It's beautiful. It's so cool to see water outside. What? Water outside? <laughs> yes. We are floating. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. Yeah, some of you know already, but we already splashed the boat. It's not time yet to talk about the splash because we need, you know, take some time to edit some really emotional images. But today we're going to talk about what? We forgot to do a lot of little things before splashing the boat. So today we're going to do random things. Yeah, today is the like uh, lost tasks that we need to do before we splash, like really important ones to make sure the boat's safe to go to the water. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Yeah, so let's get started. I'm Roberta. And I'm Duca. And for the past year, we have been building our own tiny shipping container house, so we can travel around knowing that we will always have this little place that we can call home. But guess what? We just found our dream project before we expected, this abandoned sailboat. So we are going to stop building the house for a couple months to bring our boat back to life. And then we're going to go back and finish the house. Funny story. Two weeks ago, the former owner of the boat gave me, gave me a call. He watched the video sometimes and he said, did you guys open the flange right in front of the head, the forward head? And we're like, no, I don't think... And he's like, if I was you, I would do it, just redo the seal, just to guarantee it's, everything's okay. And if the former owner said we should do it, we trust him, what we're gonna do? Redo the seal. Yeah, if he say so, we're gonna do it. Did it. It's moving. It's moving. Something. Now. Wait. Don't hit metal with metal, right? Yes. You are learning. Don't hit metal Good with boy. metal. Last time I hit metal with metal didn't work well. So now I'm gonna get a piece and of wood. And what I did? What did you do? What I told you. Yeah. I broke the thing. Yes. That is not gonna happen today. Today, Bad I'm, boy. I'm gonna do it right. Fred, can I have a piece of wood inside of the bag? Hubert can get for us, it's right there. Hammer and wood. Hammer and wood, please. Uh, yeah, take the other camera, good. Okay. It's going. Hello! We did it! Check it out, we did it! What is this? A hole! The problem is that Fred, he, he, he won't say that, but he's afraid of Sikaflex. So that's why I always let him go inside with the tool and I can stay here with the dirt part because I need to clean the surrounds with Sikaflex. And that's why he's there because he's just afraid of getting dirt. Kids, kids. Can I? like a macaroni. It doesn't look like a macaroni, we can eat this. It's like a caramel macaroni. Okay, we are done. I'm tired. <laughs> Scary moment. What are you doing? That's a good question. <laughs> it's funny how we always find something else we forgot. Yeah, this oil is basically the oil that keeps the ocean water outside of the boat. I'll explain. The system that uh, seals the shaft from the engine, this system right here, I don't know if, you can you see? So this entire system is based on this oil. It's hard for me to explain in a foreign language, but I'm gonna try to make it simple. Imagine if we have two tanks exactly the same as this one, and we have a hose that connect both tanks, right? If we have more oil on this tank, and the tank that's supposedly here, 
has less oil, what's gonna happen is that this oil is gonna go down until both tanks have the same amount of oil, right? That's the way it works. Now imagine that this second tank is actually the ocean. In the ocean, the water line of the boat is like probably around here. That means that this oil is gonna try to go to the ocean to get the same level of the as the ocean, but on the seal system have a lot of O-rings and retentors that won't allow this oil going to the ocean. That means that in this case, different from many other systems, instead of having pressure from the ocean trying to go inside of the boat, we have pressure from the boat trying to go inside of the ocean. And if we can manage to keep this oil here and the retentors and O-rings are working fine, we won't lose this oil. And if we don't lose this oil, that means that the, there is no way the ocean water can come inside. The only way the ocean water can come inside of the boat is if we lose this oil. And how can we lose this oil? If the seal system fails, we are gonna lose this oil to the ocean. And at one point, this is gonna be lower than the water line. And whenever this is lower than the water line, we have more pressure on the ocean than on inside of the boat. That means that the way the flow is going is gonna invert and the water from the ocean is gonna get inside of the boat. So this is a good thing because we can uh, keep a track on what's going on. If we see that the oil is lower than the line that we have here, we know we are losing oil. And if we are losing oil, that means that the seal is not good. So what we do, we put more oil until we can fix the system. Because sometimes you can take like, I don't know, a week to get to somewhere that you can raise the boat. And instead of, you know, making water and getting water, salt water inside of the boat, you just keep filling this up. And if you keep this fill, you won't have any problem until you fix. Of course, that's not a good thing to just keep filling up with oil and losing oil to the ocean, but it's a way of not, not having ocean water inside of the boat. That means that if we want to replace this hose, the reason why we want to replace this hose is because it's really hard. And right there, we are afraid that this can get loose at one point. And if that happens, that means that we would lose the oil inside of the system. And if we lose the oil inside of the system, ocean water can come inside of the boat. So we could do that when we are on the water in the future, but we would need to raise this. It, it would be, no, actually the replace this hose, nope. I think is not even possible because if we take this hose off, that means that the ocean is higher, the water line is higher than the oil and then ocean water would come inside. So we're gonna try to do this now, but in order to do this, we need to empty this tank. And that's gonna be messy and dirty. Hey, ho! <laughs> trying to do this without dropping one drop on the bilge. Right now I just did the first mistake. One little drop I can see, but just one. We're really, we're doing really good. After like 10 minutes, <laughs> <laughs> can Let's you show them? No. And now, where's the new hose? I hope it fits. <laughs> yeah, this one we bought by mistake for <laughs> something else, and I think it will fit perfectly here. We bought for the vent. I think it's good. Good. I'm gonna do like this. Follow the hose. Here's this one second. I'll be right back. It's here already. Yes. Yay! One less dirty hose. Yeah, but now let's empty these on the jar. Good? Yeah. 
Now all we need to do is to put the oil back. But before we do that, we're going to take to a specialist to make sure the oil is right. To make sure we don't need it's to replace that oil. Yeah, it's still good. I mean, like now that the oil is out of the container, it's much easier to take somewhere. But for now, it's all good. That means that we are almost ready to. That's the only piece left, other than replacing the what do you call swing center board cable and to paint the bottom and then we can go to the water yay so close so we talked to the specialist i mean specialist is a guy that built boats for like over 30 years and he had built the system before and he checked the oil and he said no you don't need to replace because if you replace this oil doesn't make any sense because this won't go to the system it won't replace oil with the system and in order to take the oil off the system we need to disassemble the entire system and he said it's not worth go to the water if there is any leak you take off the water and then you do it otherwise just don't touch because this system lasts for so long that's not even worth doing it so we're gonna trust him he's a really an expert he's done that before a lot of times so let's put this back on if we put this back on, that means that the boat won't sink anymore. Let's be good. We hope. We won't. It's coming. Yes. Very, very slow. <laughs> yeah, like a drip. Yes. course never goes exactly how we plan. Our idea was to replace this oil, I mean to put the oil take off and put it back, replace the hose without one drop of oil. The problem is that when we took the oil off and replaced the hose, when we put the new oil it wouldn't go all the way to here because there's air inside of the system and once you start filling you create like a, a huge bubble of air and it's impossible so we just took this hose off and then we fill the hose with oil and then I connect it here and I managed to do that with like maybe like five drops of oil that's so that's a really good yeah that was a good result now we just need to clamp this back and Fred's just trying to fill the last I bit. know I, I did <laughs> yeah so now we have the system with oil again so it's like the hose is filled with oil there's no air inside and that's a successful mission I just need to close this clamp and you're good to go. You said new oil but it's an old oil. <laughs> new old I mean oil. The, the new old oil you just put <laughs> the oil back but we replaced the hose. The problem was the hose that could like break. Yeah. Now we because if this hose break we are in trouble. Now we have like the system with a new hose with the old oil back and everything's good. <laughs> We are trying to, wait, we want to have this valve. This is the uh, true hole for the electrical bilge pump for this main bilge right here. So the pump is right there already. We didn't install yet, but that's the pump. The problem is that this pump has a diameter of holes that we don't use in Brazil. You won't find anywhere. We don't have. Yeah. No, I mean like the factory actually makes, but you need to order like 200 meters of Yeah, so it's like a special order, that means we cannot do it. But we need to use this valve that's the same thing, it's the big diameter. So we create these two with a turner, that is the diameter we have here, and here is the diameter of this. So we're gonna heat this up, get the hose, and it's like, it's not this one, but just... We're gonna heat this up and slide the hose until it dilatates to this diameter I mean not this this <laughs> wait to cool down wait to cool down and then we have like a bigger diameter hose and then we can transfer the, because the problem is that we have this blue hose come out of the hull of the boat there that we install already but this is hard to do the turns that we need to get to the bilge so we are gonna actually use this kind of hose that's easier so we are gonna use the valve as a transition from two different kinds of hose. It's confusing, but it's gonna make sense. And what this does? This will only let water go uphill no and not valve. downhill. Yeah, there's the valve. I don't know if you can see. So the water flows from here to here, not from here to here. That means that when we pump water off, 
It won't come back. It won't come back. It will <laughs> just go and just stay the, this much on the hose. Okay. It's gonna make sense. electric pumps going to hit this place. Yep, we have the old hose. We just apply some Sikaflex just to make sure the screw won't lose it up. And now we screw back. Don't you guys think that six hands for one screw is too much? <laughs> you hold here. Yeah, okay. And the other hand here. You hold here. Okay. And no, here. Here. Yeah. The other hand here. And now, need more hands. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. You can do it. <laughs> What are we doing? We don't have the right size of screw, so we're taking the tip off. It's gonna be good enough. I don't know if we will show you, but we built this little guy that we are gonna screw the automatic from the bilge pump to this, because we cannot screw to the steel of the boat. This, by the way, is... Divini garbage. Cell? <laughs> no, Divini, yeah, garbage. Yeah, we got this on the garbage of the marina, but this <laughs> is Divini Cell, and Divini Cell has closed garbage cells. Garbage shop. Garbage shop, yeah. So Divini cell has closed cells, that means these won't uh, accumulate water and that's pretty good and has epoxy resin on it, so it's 100% fine. Can we put a lot of more resin on yeah. it? Yeah, just <laughs> doesn't look that good, but we're gonna paint on the top later, so it's fine. But now we need to glue this to the boat, but for that I need a pen. Good. Tape. Assistant number two. Uh, I'm really fancy. I have an assistant, and my assistant has an assistant. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. You, you, it's time f about time for you to get an assistant for you also. Yes. You need to come. Let's hope this holds. I think. I think it's gonna hold. I hope yeah. so. I'm proud. Finally, we did that. That's something that we've been thinking and thinking and thinking about doing it. But you know, sometimes you point, postpone some tasks. Sometimes. Until the annoying thing comes and make you do it. <laughs> yeah, he's annoying sometimes. I'm telling you, he seems like a nice guy, but that's just on camera. He pretends to the camera, but now he's really sleepy and he's gonna be himself now, <laughs> so you can tell he's not. Nice. Don't leave with him for four months. Good night. Yeah. Let's go to lunch. Have lunch. Lunch. Yeah. Lunch. 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 <laughs> lunch. 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 Yay! I think that's good for the first call, right? Yeah. What's the plan? 
tricky one today. <laughs> we are running against time. We forgot this on the list. We need to take this off. Uh, this is the exhausting system for the diesel generator that we don't have anymore. We didn't show you, but we don't have anymore. And we are going to use this true hole to exit the bilge pump because we're going to have an extra bilge pump on a skeg that's Not an electrical one that we need a um, true hole and that's a good true hole for that. Yeah, we're going to use this flange right there. So this is another flange another one. <laughs> that we were not counting on the list. We'll get there eventually. Are you ready? Be careful if they help. It's always a surprise when you take something like this off. <laughs> It's in a really good shape. Not bad at all. Now we just need to decide if we're gonna build a new stainless steel flange to screw on the top or if we're gonna cut this exhausting system and use the top one. We'll see. Who knows? Later. More on that. So this is the last flange. Important moment. Yeah, that's 100% the last flange. After this one, we can just throw the boat on the water <laughs> and hopefully we'll float. Yeah, this one is actually not even under the water line. That's above the water line, but it's still it's an important thing. Yeah. What's this one for? Uh, build pump. Now we are safe to go to the water. <laughs> That's so cool. I mean, like we have really good confidence that no water is gonna come inside of the boat but just in case we need to have pumps ready to work you know and the automatics for both pumps are working perfectly they're stowed in place they're secured in place we hope they need to use them <laughs> yeah the, the only thing that we need to keep our fingers crossed is for the shaft for the you know the the seal from the shaft that's yeah but somehow we need to try it and we need to check if it's working and the only way to do that is to splash the boat, right? Yeah, next week. What we're gonna show them next week? Next week? Guess what we're gonna show you next week. What we still didn't show you that this boat has. A centerboard. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm just too easy. I cannot hold things <laughs> from <First> you. Second. <laughs> yeah, uh, I kept from you from, for like two seconds, I guess. Yeah, so basically next week we're gonna put the centerboard down for the first time all the way down because in order to put the center board down the boat need to be so high because this <laughs> boat is is like one meter draft we, we can talk about this on the next episode in details she don't let me talk see <laughs> my life is hard her? my life is tough oh, she oh doesn't, yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> yeah so basically next week i'm gonna give you a huge spoiler alert no it's the last episode on the dry yeah and then you guys start getting prepared because we are now starting to edit this splash episode and it's gonna be an emotion one don't make fun of me i'm already saying just give me some slack wait for next week next week's gonna be in the final episode on the dry and then it's the big moment yeah i don't know you as you can tell the list it's much bigger now <laughs> because that's not <laughs> yeah that's not the same one now it's before we untie the lines list but we're gonna talk about that in the future not for now yeah what else for this week Patrons time! Patrons time! <laughs> so, welcome on board. Bruno. John. Patrick. Jonathan. Demetrius. Gil Guilherme. Guilherme. Okay. Guilherme. Seth. Jonathan. Jason. James. And we also want to thank the donations to our PayPal. Thanks so much, Paul. And Grant. Guys, thanks so, so much. We really appreciate your support. And that's, that's it. it. We see you guys next week with our center board. Yeah. <laughs> Stick with us. I know it's taking a long time to go to the water, but it's gonna be worth because the boat in the water is just beautiful. Yeah, you can ask one of our patrons, they, they, they saw pictures already. <laughs> see you guys next week. See you.